Dotty and I slept behind the Seventh Day Adventist Church last night. Got a nice field behind it. And it said, All are welcome. So, we slept back there last night. In Winston, Oregon. All right now. Alrighty. See all the different types of thumbs they have. We got Brosie's Sugar Tree Farms. Let's go see if they got any food in here. Yeah. What a farm stand. Wow. I really wish I had the ability to. I really wish they had the legal ability to bring you in and look at all this stuff. This is like a, a really, this is a treat. Grandma's cookie corner, fresh home baked breads, bars, cakes, cookies. Oh my God. Thankfully this whole thing is elongated and it's not one square building. <laughs> Hi. Wow. Good. Checking out this awesome farm stand. Trying to figure out a, way, a, a place to tie up my sheep so I can buy some things. Hey, look, they got a scale. See if you still weigh 136 pounds. Wow. And so you got a U-pick? Hello. Hello. Um, do you work here? Yes. Is there a good place you could suggest uh, me tying up my sheep? Maybe that tree over there, that apple tree? The what? I have a, I, I'm sorry, I have a sheep right here. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty territorial. Just go get in your office. <laughs> I can tie her up right here, this post or something. Okay. What can I do for you? Howdy. I was just asking your employee if there was a good place that I could tie up my sheep so I can buy some things. No, uh, the boss just called me and said, didn't even want you on the place, so you just need to leave. I'm sorry? You just heard me. You don't need to be walking along taking pictures of everything in the building, so. Oh no, I'm doc I'm I'm traveling around Southern Oregon okay, documenting well, the then, farm stands. Then you've seen this piece, go travel somewhere else. Well, I'm also trying to patron them. Go travel somewhere else. Wow. Do you guys really I, I'm I'm trying to promote the farm stands, sir. Can I talk to the manager? Because you, you guys don't want to make a mistake here. You don't want me to have this be. You know what? Uh, I've already told you three times. You're trash. You actually only told me once, and um, and I have, I have a website. I'm I'm seriously traveling around documenting okay. the farm hand, the farm stands. Okay. Is there something you, you would? Now, now you've been we, told we, to leave. So leave. Okay. 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 Man, that guy. The boss just called and he wants you off the property. I know what we do it. Anyway. Oh my god. Okay, so Brosie's Farms. I was walking by and I asked you if you worked for uh Brosie. For, for Brosie or Big Lick, and you said Brosie, and I said I'm sorry. And yeah. you said you no doubt. <laughs> but this is your last week? Yeah, dude, I wouldn't even work here, but my dad's making me work here. Yeah. yeah. This is Dottie, by the way. What's your name? Michael. Michael Aaron. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Like surviving in a way. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm trying to yeah. make it to where we can survive legitimately without the system because right now these farm stands are too far, few and far between. Yeah. So if we can link them on a map, so that you can go efficiently from each one to each one and yeah. know the quickest route from each one. Yeah. Can... Th then we can help their businesses build. Internet famous. Hi. Some Facebook shit? Yeah. So I, I'm wondering um, uh, from Insider, is there anything that you know of in, the, in their farm stand uh, that is not grown on uh, not... this farm or any farm in neighboring this? Yeah. I'm not sure what, but the, I know they get stuff from California. They do get stuff from California. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I, I wonder. Um. I wonder if they have it labeled. Do you know? Maybe. Or do they just have it, have it out? Uh, yeah, because they just have it out. Because. Yeah. Trying sheep milk for the first time. Hasn't it tried goat milk. It's good. I like it better than regular milk. Way better. It's sweeter than, I don't than like cow milk. Regular milk, honestly, but this is good. Cow milk. Yeah. <laughs> you got the milk mustache. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Regular milk. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Sorry, the party you are trying to reach has not set up voicemail on 5, 4... 
That's not a very responsible farm or business. <laughs> I know. Uh, that was Brosy Farm. Thank you. Okay. I'm... Big Lick Farms. <laughs> Dotty. Take a peek. Where is it at? Is this it? Oh, this is back here. Our open sign is curled up. Yay! All right, I'm gonna tie you up. I'm gonna tie you up to the pole over here, okay? Boop. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. You getting some veggies? Or you yeah. live here? Yeah, we got here. Here? Uh -huh. I was over there. Months ago, I guess it was. Uh-huh. Oh, over, I, you were over at Brosie? Yeah, a month ago? Brosie's, yeah. Uh -huh. I bought a box of peaches. Uh-huh. After I got them home, I realized they weren't their peaches. How did you know? Huh? How did you know? Well, actually, when I was driving by, their peach trees, peaches were still a on the green side. Yeah. Yeah. They hadn't picked any yet. Uh huh. So they were selling peaches from California or other. You know, they, they were, were good. You but know. but they didn't have it labeled as that, right? No, they didn't have it labeled as that. Oh, I just talked to their employee. Um, exit as we were walking down the road. Um, he stopped and talked to me on his uh, four wheeler. Mm -hmm. And nice young boy. He said he was going to quit next week, so he didn't mind like telling the truth or whatever. He said that they're buying stuff from California and putting it in their farm stand and not labeling it yeah. as such. Yeah. Um, that is super that's, dishonest. Yeah, that's what I realized on the peaches. Two for five, Doug. Okay, we can, we can eat two of these. Four dollars a basket. Two dollars a bunch. These look a little small, but let's see how sweet they are. No spray and GMO sweet corn. Cool. I really love these. Thank now. you guys so much for having a self-serve. I just dropped you guys a 20 and, and uh, I really appreciate it. What? It's not our stand. We work for Susie, but we live here. Oh, right on. Yeah, cool, cool. You guys, um, uh, I really appreciate your guys. I'm traveling through uh -huh. and uh, actually documenting the farm stands around Southern Oregon. And uh, I stopped by uh, a Brosie first Brosie. this morning. Yeah. So yeah. I, just, I saved the money and, and was able to come uh, share it down here with for you guys. Thank you, guys. You guys got goats right there? Yeah. yeah. Can can my, my can my sheep say hi to him? Oh, they're little dwarf Nigerians. They're so cute. That's how I started off. Dwarf Nigerians. They're my favorite. I'm actually wanting to go back to them because this is the smallest dairy sheep that I was able to find. I got her when she was 85 pounds, and I thought she was full grown. She put on another 50 pounds, so I can't pick her up anymore. But I, I that's cute. Uh, she can still I can still catch rides with her, but um but my dwarf Nigerians I could catch rides with them so much easier. Oh my gosh, these goats are so cute. Hi. Wow. And you're so small and cute. Crazy. Loving you guys. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Good talking to you. It's really great talking with you guys. Take care. Yay. I might be back tomorrow. Okay. Get some more fruit. And veggies. Good girl. This is a much friendlier atmosphere. 